welcome to the Homestead Student Section. And this, this is the Highlight Zone. Yeah. Oh, you got to appreciate the enthusiasm of man Justin Kenny of Optima Performance Sports. Dropping some knowledge on Inside the Zone here this past Monday. He said the first time Homestead and Carmel met, Back in 1998, the Spartans winning that one, 27-3, they went on to play in the state title game that season. Since then, though, these two had met three times, with Homestead scoring just 14 points total in three losses. Something we have to give this 6A regional clash, second-ranked Homestead, number five, Carmel. Carmel led by the big guy, uh, Penn State-bound Cole Brevard, the D-lineman, ranked as the number one prospect in the state of Indiana, and this is not how Homestead wanted to start the game. First play from scrimmage, it's Carmel's Dylan Downing. 67 yards to the house, and Chad Zolman not happy to start 7-0 in a hole just 20 seconds in. Well, Luke Goody starts to get things going. It's Cam Rogers, the future Miami Red Hawk flying high. Big first down, and then Mr. Touchdown himself, Jake Archbold. With a game for the ages last week, that's a pretty darn good catch. It's a 21-yard touchdown, and we'll tie it 7-all Homestead hanging very much with Carmel. Why? The defense was playing great. It's Malik Nickens with the tackle for loss for the Spartans, but under a minute left before the half. This was a huge play for the momentum of this game. Christian Williams to Aiden Ellison with 28.6 ticks left in the half. Carmel up 14-7 at the break. Third quarter, it's Zach White, and White rumbles in for the touchdown, and Carmel did not look back as Homestead falls to the Greyhounds 31-7. Homestead's great season ends with a loss to Carmel. They finish the year 11-1. This was the closest team that we've had in my four years here. Um, and a bunch of these guys are some guys I'm never going to forget about. They're going to be my buddies and some of my best friends for the rest of my life. It's a tough loss, and the reason it hurts is because of how much effort and how much uh, work they put in in the off season, in the season, you know, all the things that they did. That's why it hurts, and it's, that should hurt. So I'm proud of them, and uh, couldn't be uh, more proud to be associated with a group of seniors.